Good morning everybody, it's Barbara um, to bring you your morning devotional and I've decided to share a, a few thoughts today about the fruit of the Spirit and I'm sure we've all heard this saying um, many times you'll be known by your fruit and fruits mentioned many times in the Bible of course starting with the Garden of Eden there's lots of fruit in the Garden of Eden we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, the symbolic fruit we bear. And yes, a tree covered with swollen fruit is a sign of really good health. And if a tree bears no fruit, despite being cared for, um, it just shows that there's, there's something amiss. And the golden rule is good trees bear good fruit and bad trees bear no fruit or bad fruit. Matthew 7, 18 says, a good tree can't bear bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. And it's also true that trees bear fruit that's appropriate to them. So you won't find grapes on a thorn bush. And we, we all want to bear good fruit. And our actions are the fruit that people see. It's what comes from our hearts. And uh, we all know the very famous chapter in John 15 about the vine and the branches, where Jesus says, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. And he goes on later to say, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. So that really tells us that when our lives are being transformed by God and we walk in his ways, we abide in him, which means we, we dwell in him, we spend time with him. We will bear good fruit. And that's what Jesus wants. He's appointed us to bear good fruit that will last. And we have to think, what fruit do I bear? Can people see good fruit in me? What fruit would I like to see reflected? Galatians 5.22 lists the fruit, fruit singular of the Spirit. Interestingly, it is singular. The first fruit of the Spirit being love. And then it goes on. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So there's no limit to the amount of fruit that we can bear. Nine, it lists nine fruits of the Spirit in all. So fruit is clearly about character and it's character the Holy Spirit develops in us and, and as we grow in the Lord and we walk in step with the Holy Spirit. The Passion Translation puts it beautifully, it says the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within us is divine love in all its varied expressions. And of course love describes God and the first fruit is love and the others all cover different aspects of love and they're not abstract virtues but they're virtues with actions and as the branches are connected to the vine we have to stay joined to the source and if we don't we'll reap the consequences scripture says if we walk by the spirit we will not gratify the desires of the flesh. And in Galatians, the preceding verses to the fruits of the Spirit are all about the acts of the sinful nature. Sexual immorality, impurity, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, factions, envy, drunkenness and so on. And it says, I warn you that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God but this means that if we walk in the spirit 
we've been less likely to walk in, in the sinful nature. But we have to remain connected to the root. In Jeremiah 17 is another lovely illustration. It says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. And that's because it remains connected to the source. The branches connected to the vine. And as Pastor Mike is telling us to keep looking to Jesus, so we need to keep connected to Jesus. And evidence of the fruit of the Spirit is certainly for me a goal a, a, to strive for, as it should be for all of us. Because an evidence of the fruits of the Spirit is a sign that we are maturing spiritually. Because Jesus says, apart from me, you can do nothing. And for me, I know that if I'm not walking with the Lord, my fruits of the Spirit are not really reflectors as, as they should be. Character grows in the middle of our everyday life that we spend with Jesus so that even in times of drought, we can still bear fruit because trees will only produce fruit if they have access to water. And fruit is who we are. It's not what we do. Let me pray. Help us, Lord, to remain close to you, to keep our eyes firmly fixed on Jesus so that our roots will go deep into your love and the power of your Holy Spirit so that our lives can be transformed and we can exhibit good fruit as we walk in obedience to your Holy Spirit. And we can share the love of God with everyone we meet in our lives. In Jesus' name. Have a great day, everyone.